Steve, tonight the Charleston Police Department made an arrest after a transgender woman was assaulted back on August 19th. In a town hall meeting with the LGBTQ community, the Charleston Police say they are taking steps to make sure a hate crime doesn't happen again. Now News 2 has a surveillance video from the attack on the transgender woman. News 2's Dan Roberts takes us through that video and tonight's town hall meeting. This is newly released video of the assault of a transgender woman after being confronted about her gender. Warning, the video is a little graphic. You can see it starts with what seems to be a verbal argument. The group leaves, but then they come back still arguing. You can see that's when a man appears to knock out a person who we now know is a transgender woman. Charleston police have arrested this man, 30-year-old Christopher Lamar Price, for aggravated assault. The incident leading to this. Something needs to happen. A packed Arthur Christopher Community Center for a town hall with Charleston police and the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, and queer community discussing a safer Charleston for LGBTQ members. In an open forum, questions were asked. Do you ever ask what their preferred name is or what pronouns they go by, or do you just assume by what you see? So what intention was the statement she was not attacked because she was transgender made, and who approved that? And questions were answered. Our uh, PIO uh, makes a statement and has the authority to make a message. We're having a, a large conversation on pronouns and how to respond to transgender men and women. Suggestions were also given on how police can better understand and protect the LGBTQ community. Rather than put out a statement saying this was not a hate crime, why not phrase it? At this time, we cannot classify it as a hate bias crime. I just want to make sure that we don't tone police the next time we have a forum about violence in marginalized communities. Tuesday night, police recognizing the town hall is the first step to bettering the relationship between cops and LGBTQ members. Police say they are planning a training for officers on how to communicate with LGBTQ community. The training is set to take place within the next month. Live in studio tonight, Dan Roberts, Count on Two.